my blood. Betrayed with a kiss. Cross-examination. A new program for Passion Week. Dealing with some personalities that you will hear about around this week. We are cross-examining today a man that you may not have heard a lot about. Simon the Cyrenian. Simon the Cyrenian is only written in a very small places in the Gospels. But we know a few things about him because he had two sons, Alexandrus and Rufus, and both were helping St. Paul in one of his epistles. He immigrated from Libya and he was working in the farms, in the fields. And he happens to be returning from the fields around the third to sixth hour between 9 and 12 noon on Holy Friday. To remind you, our Lord was sentenced to death around 10 a.m., start to carry his cross, arrived to Golgotha maybe around 11, and then he was crucified around the sixth hour, which is 12. Joseph was passing by, a bystander, not knowing what's happening. He found a crowd. He found the man looks tired. He found the man looks noble. He heard so much about him. He heard that he healed so many. He is kind on everyone. He loves the sinners. He is good with the tax collectors. And Simon was a watcher, a bystander. But our Lord fell twice and maybe three times in his procession from Pontius Pilate house to Golgotha. It's not a long distance, probably half a kilometer, but our Lord was so tired. He hasn't slept, eaten, drank anything from 9 p.m. last night, and now it's close to 11 a.m. in the morning on Friday. He fell, and 125 pounds of wood, the cross, fell on him. So the Romans has a problem. They have a sentence to do. He must be crucified. He cannot die in the street. The only way is to get him help. Because if he died in the street, these soldiers will be punished. Because the accusation, the sentence, has to be crucifixion on Golgotha. So they found this man who was just coming from the field. His name is Simon. And they made him, not asking him, they made him, they pushed him on Jesus to carry the cross. And I want you to imagine I think he was carrying the cross in the front and Jesus now in the back. And both of them are carrying, but I think he kept looking at Jesus every now and then. And Jesus was maybe smiling to him. His breathing wasn't easy, but Simon was listening to his breath sounds. Simon was listening to his sighs of pain. Simon was carrying the cross. We call it that he is carrying the cross of our Lord, but truly Simon was carrying our cross, his cross and ours. Because our Lord Jesus Christ does not deserve a cross. He did not do a sin. He has no blemish. He is the righteous one. He is the holy one. By Simon carrying the cross, it confirms and proves that the cross is ours and Simon is each one of us. Cross-examining Simon, Simon is carrying your cross and mine. But none of us could have been crucified except our Lord. He is the true sacrifice that pleases his Father. No one could have pleased the Father except our Lord. But by carrying the cross with our Lord, we are telling him, our Lord, we do not think that you deserve a cross. This is our sins, our shame. The other point about Simon carrying the cross, every one of us going through a trouble, whether it's pandemic, whether it's an infection, whether it's cancer, whether it's injustice at work, Jesus is carrying that injustice with you. Jesus never left the pandemic. Jesus never left the cross you are carrying alone because 
you are like me, you cannot carry alone. Simon was useless to carry the cross alone. But always think, while you are carrying, Jesus is backing you up. Jesus is carrying more than the load that you can carry. Thank you, Simon. Blessed are you, Simon the Cyrenian. Because by you carrying the cross of our Lord, you taught us that our Lord will be carrying with us every trouble and tribulation that we go through, every pain and suffering that we encounter. Thank you, Simon the Cyrenian, because your experience have taught us how our Lord managed our salvation. And we were just watchers. None of us could have done anything in our salvation. As we read in the third hour Isaiah prophecy, who is that man who is coming from Adum and his clothes are all red? He is the one who have gone through the wine press alone and none of the nations were with him. Our Lord is the slave who have gone through the wine press and he is full of red blood of the wine press. And none of us could have had helped, but by Simon carrying the cross with him, it shows in a symbolic manner that our Lord does not have a cross. This is ours. Cross-examining Simon, one of the personalities of the Passion Week. Until we meet again, God bless. Betrayed with a kiss.